Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another thrilling episode of Wone Wolliver's World. I'm your host, Wone Wolliver, and today we're diving into the wild world of reproductive rights, Texas style. Now, did you hear about the recent legal drama surrounding the abortion pill Mife Pristone? I mean, who needs soap operas when you've got the US legal system? So, a Texas court thought it was a great idea to revive the 1873 Comstock Act. That's right, folks. We're taking it back to the good old days when sending obscene and indecent materials through the mail was a crime. Heck, they might as well bring back horse-drawn carriages and monocles while they're at it. But seriously, it's like the Texas court is trying to set a new trend. Retro repression. The Comstock Act has been collecting dust for decades, but now it's being called into action to restrict access to Mife Pristone. I guess the judges were feeling nostalgic for the time when Anthony Comstock, the Postal Service's own private eye, was raiding the mail with his trusty gun just like a real-life Sherlock Holmes, but with a family planning twist. And let's talk about the recent panic buying, shall we? Abortion pill websites and providers have been getting a surge in interest, with folks trying to get their hands on Mife Pristone like it's the new iPhone. Is it just me, or has the abortion pill become the must-have accessory of the season? The Biden administration, however, is ready to rumble. They're turning to the Supreme Court for some emergency relief, like it's a superhero hotline. Will the Supremes come to the rescue? Or are we in for another round of legal gymnastics? Anyway, that's all for today, folks. Remember to keep your sense of humour intact in these trying times. I'm Wone Wolliver, and this has been Wone Wolliver's World.